Hi there, and welcome to The Artist Craft. I'm your host, Stacy Cochran, and we've got two excellent guests in studio today, Pam Tobin and, or Pam Mossbrucker and Tobin Alder. Uh, Pam Mossbrucker and Tobin Alder are the authors of Cybergold. Pam is a graduate of Idaho State University in creative writing. She served in the U.S. Army and later worked as an internet manager in private practice. Tobin Alder graduated from Idaho State University with a degree in aviation technology. He is a former marine, licensed pilot, hmm. ski instructor, and avid photographer. Willing to look outside the confines of ordinary work, his ideas transformed a simple information website into three successful businesses. So my first question for you guys, the authors of Cyber Gold, is what is the book about? Mostly it's a tool to help people to start an online internet business from start to finish, and do well in the search engines as well. Anything to add to that? It's a good book. Like Pam says, it's, a, it's an excellent tool mm -hmm. that a person can use um, to use to make a great business, and it provides all the ins necessary information mm -hmm. um, to support that business and to get it going right off the bat. So what we're talking about here really is an e-business and using the internet in a kind of commercial sense, really. Exactly. So how did this idea first come to you? How did you develop the idea from, from an idea to a book? Well, it's funny because I had a class at Idaho State University and I had to do a report. I had no idea what I was going to do. And Tobin suggested to, let's write a book about it and kill two birds with one stone, basically. And um, Cyber Gold came from that little eight-page report. Right. And since we've been working in our businesses for about three years past that, it really worked out well. Now, what were those businesses? We'd started a, uh, an e-commerce site off the bat. Originally, we had a site um, that mostly produced information for people. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted a, a nice e-commerce site, and basically that's where it all began there. So you really learned e-commerce from the ground up, it sounds like. Exactly. Pam herself, she had to learn how to make a, a website with the original HTML. <laughs> so we'll jump right to it. What advice would you give to someone who has an idea for a non-fiction book? Because your guys', you guys book is non-fiction in nature. Somebody watching us today has an idea that they're thinking about developing into a nonfiction book, having come through the process now, what kind of advice would you give them? It's easiest to write about what you know. So if they have, like we did, we knew a lot about internet business and we knew things that other people probably wouldn't know. So we knew it would make a great book and be helpful to others. So the advice I would give them is to write every step down mm -hmm. and that way they can turn it into a really great book. Exactly. It's good advice. Start with something you know. Mm -hmm. Start with something you know. Something that what's really important I feel is to have a passion about something that we all have. Hobby. It wouldn't matter if you want to build model airplanes. You can make a website out of that and do something that's if not profitable it'll at least give some really good information to people out there that are searching for that information. Yes. Awesome. Really. Yeah. We hear that advice a lot. You know, start with something that you that you truly feel passionately about. Something that you know about. Uh, well, what have you learned through writing the book? Because it took about a year to write, yes. right? What have you learned through the process of, of actually <laughs> writing it over a year? It's time to work on a book. It's, it's harder than you'd think. I mean, getting it down on paper is the easiest part. It's the going back and making sure it makes sense and the editing and the proofreading and the styling and all mm -hmm. of that part that we had no idea. Even mm -hmm. writing the index for Cyber Gold was <laughs> a crazy experience. <laughs> Yeah, we learned that uh, if, you, if you take a disciplined approach to it and just take like 20 minutes a day, on my laptop I have a, a, a file on there I just call 20 minutes a day, and just write 20 minutes. And uh, before you know it, you have six months worth of information there that's yeah. down. That's the, you know, just getting it down. Well, you can totally see, I don't know if we can get a good shot of this here, of Cyber Gold. Uh, 
but you can see that they've done a lot with formatting stuff inside using very helpful looking uh, you know web browser you know, screenshots pictures, screenshots, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the word I was looking for, <laughs> screenshots. And like you said, you know, I can see that you couldn't put all this together in a single day no True. or a week even. I mean, this was something that you chipped away at little by little, you know, for a year. A really. year. So if you're watching this at home, you absolutely have to take some time, <laughs> but you have to, you have to work through the process of it too. Yes. You know, you, you have to kind of pace yourself, I guess, is the is the big thing. So where did you, you first, you know, you're working in e-commerce, you developed a couple of successful businesses, you mm -hmm. had, it sounds like a class together, perhaps? I had the class, she had we the worked class. together. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. you, you had this class, you had the project, and you said, you know, this is a topical enough mm -hmm. idea that we should develop this further into a book. So where did you go from there, exactly? Well, what we had, originally what happened is, so we started the idea with the book. Mm -hmm. Pam was taking the class and we had that idea. Um, unfortunately, our shop lizard site developed a virus and crashed. So we were already in the process of writing the book, but it was a real blessing because we actually had to go back through the process of building it step by step again. And that's what really boosted the oh, yeah. book and gave us a lot of confidence that it was gonna be a good book, a step by step book that just about anybody, you know, if they can read could could take it and use it. Right. So in that devastation, we just we used it all for Cyber Gold and made it so much different than it would have been <laughs> if Cyber if Shovel just hadn't crashed. Right. <laughs> well, well, following up on that, I, we hear a lot about uh, viruses on the internet, and I'm sure there are folks watching us today who have been alarmed by viruses or have received one of these email viruses. Uh, what can somebody do beyond? Uh, you know, having Norton's antivirus and that kind of thing to protect themselves from, from getting a computer virus, mm -hmm. having come through it yourselves. That's the best way to do it. Our virus was kind of self-implemented. <laughs> you always have to test your HTML, and I didn't test ours first, and it really crashed the site. So that's where ours came from. But regular computers, if you have Norton, or we recommend Defender Pro instead, mm -hmm. because it's it catches things before they come in. Mm -hmm. um, you scan it often, and that's really all you can do is to be careful. But it, it's a good safeguard. Mm -hmm. I mean, the programs out there work, mm -hmm. and you just have to do it. Yeah. And that's all. Like like Pam said, it's it was our fault. It was we, our fault. <laughs> we didn't take our own advice, and and the virus came in. Mm -hmm. So. So you had to rebuild it from the ground up. Ground. So. Right. So if anybody's getting a program or something, and they can test it which is explained in the book, then they'll have safeguards there. Yeah. That's okay. So what is your favorite part in CyberGold? <laughs> My favorite part is, is the second part, basically. Because I like, um, it's the, the part that where you start to build the site and, and it gets you excited because the first day that you're doing that, you know, you can see progress. You can actually take steps to, to build something, to create. So. That's cool. I, I, love the, I love the appendix the most. <laughs> I use it every day. <laughs> it has all the web addresses and it has quite a few exercises for changing your site up. And it's the easiest way to find something in the book is the appendix. That's yeah, great. The appendix is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you guys are teaching a class at Idaho State University yes. this fall as well. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that and what's the content of the course. Well, the course is based entirely on the book. They will come into the class. We will help them find an idea for an online business, find inventory for their site if they want, or information if they want to do that, and they will build a complete site start to finish. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to drop the site as a base mm -hmm. and, and build that up with them alongside so they can see it happening step by step along with us. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, all the way to the end with SEO and everything. Mm -hmm. well, and we'll, we'll get to